What's going on everyone? Jeff here with Water Jug Fitness and thanks for tuning in to Hard Gainers, episode one. So I told you guys I was going to start a new vlog series around hard gainers. So people who have difficulty gaining weight. That is who we would classify as being a hard gainer. And coming from that world, I know what it's like not to be able to, or sorry, to feel like it's impossible to gain weight. And let me assure you, it is not impossible. You can definitely do it. And that is what this Hard Gainers vlog series is going to be all about. There are going to be a ton of topics covered. Uh, I'll try to cover, you know, basically just kind of one per video with a workout. I'm going to show you all the macros of the food that I'm eating in the, in the vlog that I'm doing. I'm also going to show a weight. And I'm going to try to do these as a weekly video so that we can I can track my weight going up and I can be held accountable um, as I post these videos if my weight's not going up you feel free to call me out and be like, hey you know why is your weight weight not going up because again I did say I want to try to get to about you know 185 190 so getting into the current weight let's go check out what I'm currently weighing in at right now All right, so we're currently at 171.6 right now. So again, that's still pretty low. Uh, I've been on the bulk for about a month now, so I'd like to see that weight be a little bit higher, but it's fine. I'm still, I'm still pretty lean right now, so I'm not too upset with that number. And uh, you know, we'll just go from there. Oh, oh, there we go. Anyways, I just want to let you guys know what to expect. In this vlog series, again, there's going to be a ton of stuff covered. I really think you're going to enjoy it. Otherwise, I wouldn't put this video out there because, again, if if I'm putting content out, if I'm putting content out there that people don't like, what's the point of it? So, I'm really hoping that this vlog series will help people. I'm hoping to continue it all the way throughout my bulk. Also, again, though, like I said, I'm going to be doing the other videos too, the meal plans, the foods that I eat. Um, along with these videos. So don't just think I'm dedicating this entire channel to this Hard Gainer vlog series. That's not the case. I will do my other videos as well. But this is going to be a big part of this channel because I know there are a lot of a lot of people out there who who were like me and they struggle with gaining weight and they thought it was again impossible. And it's not impossible. You just have to know what to eat and you have to be super dedicated and consistent with it. That's really, you know, that's really what it is. It's, it's almost like a job, guys. Like you, you know, every two hours you should be eating something. Now, typically that food should be good sources of protein, complex carbs, and a little bit of fat. But I do understand that, again, eating clean calories, eating clean foods, healthy foods, you know, your lean chickens, or your, sorry, your lean chicken, your rice, your broccoli, that stuff gets old really quick and it's hard to it's hard to stick to it if that's all you eat. And if you're not used to eating that many calories, because when we're talking about gaining weight, you need to eat a calorie surplus. The best thing you can do if you want to start gaining weight, my if you take anything this from this video, this is what you should take from it. If you want to start gaining weight, you need to figure out on a regular basis, be truthful sorry, be truthful with yourself, how many calories are you eating today? So I would track for you know three, four days, go to my fitness pal and you track a regular week of eating for you, and then you kind of average it out. That is going to be your base calorie intake is what I would is what I would tell you. And then from there, you need to adjust it going up. Maybe it's 250 calories, maybe it's 500. And then check in after a couple weeks and see if you gained any weight. If so, how much weight have you gained? But you need to find that base level daily intake so that you know how much you need to eat. The first thing you need to do is not ask, you know, what, you know, how much do I need to eat? That's not that's not your first question. It should be you know, where am I at right now? What am I eating? Track it for a week 
and then you can go to, okay, now I know my base daily intake. I need to add this many calories to it, whether it be this many grams of protein, this many grams of carbs, whatever, and then recheck again in about a week or two and see where you're at. But I need to go get a workout in. I will show you that workout. It's leg day. I think it's only right that the first hard gainer video, episode one, is going to be about my hardest body part to grow, which is my legs. So I wanted to show you guys that. And you will see that video here in a few minutes. And then I will bring you guys back for my post-workout meal. Actually, let me go show you my shake right now that I'm about to eat. So, you remember I was making those smoothies. The strawberry banana protein smoothie. Well, that's what I'm drinking right now. I have about an hour to my workout. So I'm going to drink this. And then I'm going to go get my workout. So if you also, if you're wondering what the macros are in this, or how to make this, there is a link in the description, so check that out. I do have a video on making this protein smoothie. So, stay tuned, I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you in a few. Alright guys, so we started this workout with some barbell back squats. My starting weight here is 135 and it's just a warm up for 10 reps. My main focus during these reps are to, you know, break parallel and get the full range of motion. Then I moved on to 185 for 7 reps, again still working up to are still trying to get to the working weight, which is going to be 245, but this is just 185 for seven reps. And now we have the working weight, which is 245, and I will be going for five to seven reps. For this month, I think I'm going to focus on, or at least for the next month, I'm gonna focus on five to seven reps at five sets for most of my workouts. I will also probably hit the last set, the fifth set, will have a drop set. Just so I make sure I get some additional volume in there. Alright, so still on the squat rack, I moved on to some standing calf raises. And here, my toes are pointed forward, and I will do about 10 reps. Then I have my toes pointed outward, and I will do 10 reps. And then I will point my toes inward and do 10 reps. This will be for five sets, and right now I'm only using 135, and I think I'll stay at 135 for the entire session of these cat raises. Then I went on to some leg extensions. Again, five sets of five to seven reps. The set you're watching right now is just a warm-up set. It was a little bit lighter weight. Here's an actual working set. And again, I'm doing five sets of five to seven reps. And I believe it was about 190 on the leg extension machine.
and then I drop the weight about 50% I would say so right now I am at only about 80 to 90 pounds and I'm gonna rep out another 10 then move then I moved on to the leg press machine with a little bit wider of a stance make sure my toes are pointed outward and I'm going to hit five sets of five to seven reps and then the fifth set I will include a drop set of 10 reps And here is the drop set on the leg press machine. I also switched to a closer stance. Still on the leg press machine, I switched and started doing some calf raises. Again, I will do 10 reps where my toes are pointed straight ahead or, or forward. Then I will switch and turn and point my toes outward. And again, I'm not using a lot of weight here. I'm really trying to focus on getting the hold at the top of the calf raise. And then I will turn my toes inward and hit another 10 reps. And after you've completed all of those, that would be one set. So I still had four more sets to go. What's going on guys? We are back. I just finished up my leg workout. I also just took one and a half scoops of my gold standard 100% whey uh, about 20 minutes ago and now I'm gonna get my prep meal for my post-workout meal and eat that so here is that I'm also gonna show you guys a little trick on how to bring a little bit how to bring a little bit of flavor back to your prep meal so I know eating your prep meals, like just don't, throwing them in the microwave doesn't always, you know, they don't taste very good. I will generally reheat my food a lot of times on the stove with some extra virgin olive oil right here. I'll add a little bit of this and I will also sometimes crack an egg over the top of it, which brings a lot of flavor back into it. It tastes really good. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And I will show you guys that I will also show you the macros for this meal. Check this out. And gonna add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. There we go. Crank it. I usually do about six to a seven on the stove. Sometimes an eight. And then my prep meal, what it is, it, it's one cup of rice one cup of vegetables, and eight ounces of chicken. And then I'm gonna add an egg to it. Let that heat up a little bit. I'm gonna break the chicken apart. Tear that apart. So when I understand this might take a little bit longer to heat up than just the microwave, but it's gonna taste much better. And I just do this so it cooks a little more evenly.
Add a little Frank's Red Hot to it. Add even more flavor. There we go. Not a ton, but and just mix it around one last time. And there you have it. All right, guys, so I'm gonna eat this meal. And I'll probably work on some water jug fitness videos. No, no, I don't think anything else. I'm going to eat this meal, and then I will see you guys back for my next meal. All right, everyone. Thanks for coming back. I am now about to eat the last meal of the day. And the last meal of the day is going to be... Let's see if I can get it on there. There we go. It's kind of hard to see. But it is one serving of walnuts, which is one ounce. It is one fourth cup blueberries, and then in here is also half a cup of cottage cheese. So that is the last meal of the day. I will put the macros over here. <laughs> and uh, that's really going to wrap it up for this video. Again, I didn't want to cover a whole, whole lot in these videos because it's going to be such a long series. This hard gainer series is going to be over the entire time that I'm bulking and then into my cutting as well. So there's going to be a lot of topics covered. This was just kind of the intro uh, first video. If there's anything else you guys, like, you guys would like to see in these videos, again, I tried from the other comments that you guys left. I added uh, the macros in there are going to be in there from now on. I'm also going to be, if you enjoyed, you know, I'm going to do the voiceovers for the reps, for how many reps I do and the weight and all of those good things. If there's anything else you guys would like to see in these videos or uh, what else would be good to cover, feel free to leave a comment and let me know. I'm always looking for ways to make these videos better. But that is going to wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And that's all I have. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed.